Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, the 2020 question then, um, there was one on logs. It was question three, um, it was part B. I can't remember what part A, oh, part A was a little functions question. Um, but part B on question three, the equation Y is, sorry, the real variables Y and X are related by Y is equal to five X squared. The equation Y is equal to five X squared can be re rewritten in the form log to the base five of Y is equal to A plus B log to the base five of X. Find the value of A and the value of B. Okay, so let me have a look at those two equations. So we have y is equal to five x squared and it can be rewritten. Okay, so I'm starting so with y is equal to five x squared if it can be rewritten. So y is equal to five x squared. So it can be rewritten in the form log to the base five of y is equal to a plus b log to the base five of x, okay? so. So what I do is, is I tend to compare the sides and see what did they do to y to make it log to the base five of y, okay? Or sometimes I'll look at the right-hand side and compare it with the right-hand side there. Uh, what did they do to five x squared to make it a plus b log to the base five of x? That one's a little bit harder to see. So let's go back to the left-hand side. What did they do to y to make it log to the base five of y, okay? Well, they took log to the base five of it. So let's do that. Let me go log to the base 5 of y equals, and of course what I do to one side I have to do to the other, 5x squared. Okay, so you can see I just took log to the base 5 of both sides and that's fine in maths. In maths, you can do anything you want to an equation as long as you do it to the whole equation, okay? So I haven't changed that equation in any way. I'm just in the process of rewriting it in a different form, okay? I'm happy now with the left-hand side. That does look like this, but the right-hand side needs some work, okay? So how do I go from log to the base 5 of 5x squared? into a form a plus b log to the base five of x, okay? Well, one thing I notice here is x, and this is x squared. So I think at some stage, I'm gonna end up bringing down that x. Where's my log tables? I'm going to end up bringing down that x using the q rule. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. This one here, where if something is in a power, you can bring it down in front. Okay, so I will end up using that one. And then how do I get this A, okay? Um, well, I see a product here, okay? So couldn't I split that up into log to the base A of X plus log to the base A of Y, okay? Because five X squared is a product, five can be my X, the X squared can be my Y in this, in this equation. So let's do that. Let's split them up so that I have log to the base five of five being equal to log to the base five of five plus log to the base five of x squared. Okay, so log to the base five of five, as you know from the previous questions, that's one. When you get log to the base of itself and they match, you get one. Okay, and this is the one now where I'm going to bring down that two in front of the log so that um, it looks like this. Okay, and then let's compare it now. Oh, sorry, I keep putting five in there. I was wondering why it sounded strange. Let me fix that, that you all should say why. Let's compare them now to this. Log to the base five of y equals a plus b log to the base five of x. Okay, and I'm happy with that. A is one, B is two. 
Okay, so just wondering, can you use the rules of logs? That's what it's asking. Okay, part B then, or part two of B, hence or otherwise find the real values of Y for which log to the base five of Y is equal to two plus log to the base five of one to six over 25 X minus one. Okay, hence or otherwise, okay. So when I see that word hence, I know that the previous work is going to help me. Okay, so on the previous page, I had Y was equal to five X squared and I had log to the base five of Y was equal to one plus two log to the base five of X, yes. Okay, so that's my hence, and these should be able to help me solve this one. That's what that word is there for. There's another word otherwise, which means that there's another way of, of solving it that doesn't involve um, the answers to the previous one. Okay, so look out for those words. That's why they include them. So a couple of things. Um, when I see a minus here, I start thinking that it could be that rule. It's not that rule though, because I don't have this word log there as part of the minus. Can you see that? I would need log to the base five of one for me to be able to use this particular rule here. Okay, so it's not that. Okay, what what is Comforting though is I see log to the base five of y appearing twice. Okay, so this is how I think I'm going to go. If log to the base five of y equals two plus log to the base five of that term there, and log to the base five of y is also equal to one plus two log to the base uh, five of x, then you can say that log to the base five of y is equal to two plus log to the base five of one to six over 25 X minus one. And it's also equal to one plus two log to the base five of X. Okay, so they're all equal to log to the base um, five of Y. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. When you have two equations equal to the same thing, then these two equations must also equal each other. Okay. So I think I'm going to work with these two equations and see, can I solve it for X first? Because that's all that's in this, um, these equations, there's no Y. And then maybe use this, or of course, log to the base five of Y to solve for, um, to solve for Y. So let's try that. Okay, so just like I would solving for any other X term in algebra, I'm going to do X is to one side and logs to the other. Um, sorry, X's are part of the logs. So I'm going to do Let me have a little look here now. I'm going to bring him over this side. So that I have one, two, six over 25 X minus one minus two log to the base five of X equals one minus two. Okay, this is equal to minus one. And therefore I'm gonna change the signs now all the way across show you what I'm going to do now in a minute. Minus two log to the base five of X, okay? Equals minus one. So I, I'm going to get rid of this minus here and I'm going to change the signs all the way across only in case I lose that minus. I'm not really doing anything mathematical. Two log to the base five of X becomes a plus. That minus changes to a plus and I go minus um, log to the base five of one to six over 25 X minus one. 
Okay, so nothing um, startling I did there. I literally just changed the signs all the way across just in case I drop that minus um, because I tend to do that. Okay, right, let's have a look at this one. Um, it's got a minus in the middle and it's logged to the base A of a number, logged to the base A of, of a number, okay? And when I see that, I think of this rule here, okay? And this rule tells me that if I'm subtracting two log numbers with the same base, I can divide them, okay? But to do that, let me show you, I need to get rid of this two up, up, in, fr um, up in front. So I'm going to do that by using the Q rule. I'm going to pull that Q up there so that it becomes X squared. So that I get log to the base five of X squared minus log to the base five of one, two, six over 25 X minus one. Okay, be equal to one. Okay, so just to, to repeat what I did there, I want to use the division rule. So I had to get rid of the two in front. So I brought them up. So that's the Q rule in your log tables, okay? So therefore this now becomes log to the base five of the top over the bottom. Okay, so why am I doing this? Well, I have to solve for X and X is appearing a few times. So I'm just trying to bring them all together. Okay, now I'm gonna add on a new page here. And we're going to continue from here. So let me copy this. And let's continue from here rather than squishing it. Okay. So the first, next thing I'm going to do is get rid of log to the base five because I need to get at the X's and this is on the outside. So I'm going to use, of course you can use the switch, but I'm going to use these two rules here. So I'm going to match the base number, which is five, and raise everything up. And of course, if I raise this side, I need to raise this side up. Okay, so I've literally taken the left and put it as the power of five. I've taken the right and put it as the power of five. And the reason we do that is because log five and five cancel. So that now I'm left with X squared over 126 over 25x minus 1 is equal to 5 to the power of 1 is 5. Okay, and then you, it's algebra from here on in, um, so you solve. So there's a fraction here, so I need a common denominator. So my common denominator is 25. So I have 126x minus 25. And of course, it's got an x squared on the top is equal to 5. Okay, how do we divide fractions? So x squared divided by this fraction, well, you invert the bottom one and multiply, okay? So you turn that bottom fraction upside down as such, and you multiply. Okay, let's have a look at it then. So we have 25 by x squared, so top by top, that's how you multiply fractions, bottom by bottom. Okay, I'm going to bring him up so that I get 25x squared being equal to 5 times 126x minus 25. I'm actually going to divide across by 5 just to make the maths easier. That's 5x squared equals 126x minus 25. Can you see we have a quadratic? Okay, and let's solve this using the minus p formula. I'm just looking to see does five divide all the way across, but it doesn't because he's one, two, six rather than, than um, one, two, five. So let's do our minus p formula. A is five, B is minus one, two, six, C is 25. Okay, so X is equal to minus B. So that'll be one, two, six plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, x is equal to 1, 2, 6 plus or minus, uh, where's my calculator? I put that in. So square root 
of minus 4ac. And I got 1, 2, 4 when I put that into my calculator over 10. OK, so let's split it and get our two answers for x. Hit the fraction button, 1, 2, 6 plus 1, 2, 4 over 10. And I got 25. Let's go back and change that plus to a minus. And I get a fifth. OK, so there's two values for x. So like I was saying, you could sub them into any equation you want. OK, I'm going to use um, sub into y is equal to 5x squared, because that to me is the easiest one. OK, so when x is equal to 25, y is equal to 5 times 25 squared. 5 by 25 squared is 3125. And when x is equal to a fifth, y is equal to 5 times a fifth squared. And it's a fifth. OK. So the most important piece to take away from this question is, is the following. When you have two equations and they're equal to the same thing, you can let the two equations equal each other. And from there on in, then it was applying the rules of logs and then, of course, algebra and how do you handle fractions and so on and so forth. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.